Maybe you've noticed, uh, maybe you haven't, but this year so far has been a bit different. Has it really been any different, though? Ninja, we're only one sentence in. A good space ninja is always thorough. Have you forgotten the rules of acquisition? All right, all right. Let's review last year's early updates by comparison. Update 19.6, Frost Deluxe Skin, AKA Buy Our Stuff. Update 19.7, they added the Corpus Tanfas with a new Tanfa stance. Gratuitously long overdue for that stance. Plus the Tanfa was in-game on the index before they copy-pasted it over. Update 19.8 brought a new Arqueen melee mod. DE, you shouldn't have. No, really, you shouldn't have. They also nerfed Secure Electa's credit farming from 12 times down to 4. And they took out two bugs that made it easier to progress through the infested raid. Funny how they took out the helpful bugs but left all the others in just fine. Now you can't even run them anymore. Don't have to fix bugs when you remove the mode entirely. Update 19.9. Buy stuff, buy stuff, buy stuff, buy stuff. Update 19.10. I'd say this is the first real tangible addition. They finally added in the new player's first sentinel this patch. The one that looks suspiciously like a Destiny counterpart. To their credit, everyone saw what was going on with Destiny 2 at this point. Also, buy stuff, buy stuff, and buy stuff. Update 19.11. Tenogen Round 7 was released. AKA players made this, so it looks actually good, so buy it twice as hard. Update 19.12. The Pacifism Defect. Boring, glitchy event almost no one liked. Yet they added it to the game anyway. And they had more cosmetics for you to get, too. Of course! Buy stuff and buy stuff. So far this year, we've had Tenogen, a UI pass to make the market easier easier to use, Tenogen again, some augments, Eidolon reskins, Ember got nerfed, some frames and weapons got tweaked, that same round of Tenogen a third time, and finally, another deluxe skin pack to come full circle for the Tanfa. See? Not a single resemblance to previous years at all. I'm sorry, Lotus was telling us how different this year is compared to previous ones. Please continue. While Fashion Frame has seen no shortage of content, me, you could say that again. Something is different. We haven't released a single new weapon or Warframe yet this year. Are you trying to sell me on this as a good thing or what? This dev workshop, which is more of a diary entry, is just to briefly provide some context to what we've released. Or, to be more precise, to provide some context on what you haven't released. Three of your supposed updates involve content created by your players, not you. But the way you twisted the words sounds much better for you your way. I'd stick with your version, yes. You may find yourself asking, when are we getting new Tenno reinforcements? Great question! And you might want a more detailed answer than soon. Again, right on the platinum with those questions, Lotus. Do give us the answer since you brought them up so specifically and without provocation. So far this year, we've revised and iterated on more content than ever before. That's great, you finally remembered to dust off long ignored content instead of chasing the current design by landfill thing you're going with, but what about the reinforcements? We've made cuts, changes usability of content, revisions of systems, and adjusted a significant amount of weapons and warframes. You just said that! Reinforcements! We've done this because, in many ways, you've wanted us to. We also wanted you to give us universal vacuum, make good on your initial claim to lower HEMA costs, shield gating, not for you to abandon dual wielding weapons, and oh yeah, actually give us an accessory unvaulted pack option, but apparently we need to make 14 grand a month on Patreon before those suggestions are listened to. But please, continue. Reviewing all the update notes since our first 2018 deployment on PC on January 4th, it's a bit mental how much we've changed. You've given us zero evidence of that! Reinforcements! And we plan to continue changing. Oh, what the f***? Kuva in the Kuva Fortress. Like you said you would last year? Or the time before that? Login 2.0? 2.0? 
We are on 2.0! There used to be a star system with good stuff only given out after a week of consecutive logins. You know, back when you used to release real content you made yourself monthly and have multiple weekend events and tactical alerts. Or is that why you've selectively forgotten that? Focus changes. Focus changes were supposed to go in before their vacation, but much like Shield Gay Team, it was quietly and suddenly cut at the last second. Nice to see they remembered one of them at least. We're working on continuing our way down the list. Good news! We are done with that doozy of a paragraph. Okay, on with the reinforcements and date of when they'll arrive. So how long will it take? Yes. When will we add new gear? Yes! When will the seemingly endless list of DevStream reveals release? Don't stop. Well? Don't. We stop. Don't. No. God damn it! Energy balled again! We have gotten out of the habit of sharing dates. Indeed! Because DE consistently failed at getting them out on schedule, not because we were impatient. At TennoCon 2016, Steve said voluntarily to Angry Joe in an interview, if they don't get the war within out before the end of July, he was going to get fired. It arrived November. Yet still he remains! And it's not like I actually want to see him leave, but for fuck's sake, why would you even say that as a joke? To a famous guy, during an interview, on f***ing camera. And then after you say it and it's out there in the ether, you still do not get the content out on time, but four months late. F*** July, August, September, October. Halfway into November. That is why you stopped giving out dates. And universally, it's one of the least popular additions to the game and a major deflation compared to the second dream. But this post serves a different purpose. Yes, as a distraction, an acknowledgement of zero progress being made to the public, but supposedly a bunch of stuff is getting done behind the scenes. Did the exact same thing last year with the radio silence before Tenocon, but oh wait, this year is different, my mistake. Continue to lampshade this whole thing, Lotus, it never happened, forgive me. I've just returned from a vacation, and after pretty much everyone had a multi-week vacation just two months prior, I might add. I myself am wondering the progress of all the many things we've talked about. Stupendous! Reinforcements! When? And it's simple to see one thing. We're making great progress this year. Get ready to enjoy some five-year anniversary celebrations this month, and we'll see you next DevStream. So you literally highlighted something you had zero plan to actually make good on in this very release. And, and that same dev stream mentioned you not but three hours prior delayed until next week because of all the embarrassingly cringe-filled reasons you could have had to delay things, it was because too many people were on vacation. Not sick. Not mourning the loss of a loved one, vacation. In the entire office, you can't find four people to put on a couch and talk about Warframe for an hour. You've devoted multiple episodes to UI. You've done pumpkin carvings and costume contests on Halloween, for f**k's sake. You can't even bribe your workers with beer and baked goods to sit there for an hour? Are you losing money just to keep the building operational this week? It's no wonder Zephyr Deluxe is vaporware. Wear your sunscreen on the planes, Tenno. Sideways smiley face. Sweet succulent spam in a can, that was dreadful. Blah. Hopefully that delayed dev stream will give us a bunch of details that they've been keeping close to their chest, and will give us some good news to talk about. Once it arrives, I'll be sure to recap that for you as soon as possible. But until then, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the show, and take care.